Agile Property Malaysia is part of Agile Group Holdings, which has a diversified portfolio across China. According to its company profile, Agile's brand concept is lifestyle of a lifetime. We sit down with Agile Property Malaysia's CEO Chai Keng Wai to talk about business aspirations, challenges and the company's third project in Malaysia, Agile Embassy Garden. Tell us about Agile and what is its business aspiration? Agile was established in the year of 1992 and Agile is a comprehensive enterprise mainly focusing on real estates and with diversified businesses. Over the 20 over years development, we have uh, diversified into eight main industries. So namely uh, real estate, as we are now, uh, Jar Life, one of the biggest property management company in China as to date, environmental protection, education, uh, technology innovation, real estate management, capital investment, and as well as business, business and management. As of 2019, the total asset of our group has exceeded 250 billion RMB. The businesses cover more than 100 of cities at home or abroad, with uh, our employees more than 24,000 as to date. Aja has been always focusing in providing uh, the better living to our customers. So why did Agile decide to expand its uh, property development business here in Malaysia? Well, it has been five years since Agile stepped into Malaysia. As to why Malaysia has been chosen, I think I can see it from two angles. I think first of all, uh, it's as a long-term uh, strategy plan for, of our group to become a multinational enterprise. This is the first reason. The second reason is because uh, KL, uh, as we can see, we conducted a thorough studies and survey. KL property prices is still considerably at the lower side compared to many main cities in Southeast Asia, even in Asia like Japan, Hong Kong, Shanghai, you can think. And the other side of the reason is because we find that there is a very strong and healthy business environment in Malaysia, particularly in KL. So that drives us to come to KL as our first platform out of China. So in expanding here, did Agile face any challenges? Yeah, definitely. As we know that in China, doing development, particularly in real estates, the speeds of the development is fast. The sales is fast because the market is there. And the collection is fast. And compared to KL in particular, that really makes a big difference between two countries. Of course, that doesn't really stop us from there. From the beginning, our strategy is very clear. We know when we come to KL, the first thing we need to build our branding. That's where we have to do the first step, to have a one project completion and to get the confidence from the market. Then from there, we step on, take the first second steps to acquire or to have more built projects to form the, the, the share in the market. That really gives us some uh, motivation because we did complete our first project in Mount Kiara, uh, which we're going to deliver the vacant possession this year. And that really gave us a very good report card to the market. And in fact, that drives us to move on to the second steps. What do you think sets Agile apart from its competitors? I think our main strength in meeting the competition of this in, the, in the market is the innovation that we have. In terms of engineering innovations, we have been constantly uh, delivering these um, top-notch technologies uh, whereby we will ascertain the safety of the project, the procedures are being complied, and lastly, the quality of the project. Whereas on the product side, we see our products uh, from two aspects. Firstly, is the reception of the market to our products, whether the marketability is high or low. Secondly, is being really recognized by this uh, appraiser body, whether you're being awarded because of your green, of your user friendliness and so on. As for the innovation, as is how to deal with the customer, we always have this uh, live stream uh, video. We have our own channels. So we set a platform where we can actually have an interaction with our, our customers, our buyers. Yeah. So let's talk about COVID-19. It has um, thrown like major economies into a tailspin. How has this pandemic affected Agile's business? Actually, this pandemic came in sudden, but in comparison to many other developers, I would say this pandemic, the impact to our company is 
not really impactful or damaging in the sense that all this while our philosophy is not to consider build how many units. We are considering build how many good units to the market. So especially we are in the medium high end range kind of development. So we have been recognized and been received as a developer which pro deliver pro good products, uh, good returns and good living to the customers. So people has this confidence on us. During the pandemic period, every month we are still striking around RM 80 million sales per month, which is quite considered uh, good in the market. Yeah. Amid all this uncertainty, what sort of initiatives has Agile implemented you know, to weather the storm? I think in the last few months, the online technology has been a booming trend to most of the real estate players in the market. Where we conducted online meetings, we conducted online marketing, and this platform actually served as a, a means for us to direct contact with our potential buyers and also our buyers. From there on, we, we have to consider how to improve our, from our pre-sales, even to our post-sales services, and also post-pandemic uh, challenges. So I understand that uh, Agile as a group, it's uh, undergone some restructuring. How has it affected the business here in Malaysia? We have consolidated uh, the few countries, uh, which is our, the Vietnam office, Cambodia office, and also our America office. And all these offices will be combined under the management of our Malaysia office now. We implement this is just because the structure of our Malaysia office and the competencies and the ability has really been proven. And it also is a good uh, management uh, strategies to consolidate this and using Malaysia office as a control to oversee and in charge the rest of the regional office uh, businesses. So for your overseas business, what is the target in the next five years? In Malaysia, our next five year targets, we would like to be the top 10 real estate player in Southeast Asia. You have uh, Agile Mont Kiara, Agile Bukit Bintang, and of course uh, Agile Embassy where, where we are right now. So can you tell me more about this project? Uh, give me a sense of what it's about. This Embassy Garden, in fact, is the first project that our Agile Malaysia managed and developed by our own. Uh, whereas the, the previous two projects were joint venture projects. That shows that the ability of our company at this moment, we are ready to do our own development. And from the acquisition of this project, the land, to the launching of this project has only been taken less than nine months. And this really break a record, I would say, in Malaysia. This uh, embassy garden is our third project in Malaysia. It's located at a renowned locations in KL, off Jalan Ampang. It's just neighboring Jalan Tun Razak. So this project is, is very suitable for those who are actually looking for city centre life but yet neighbouring to a low density environment. So right now we are launching our Tower B. We have a fantastic view where you can see the KL city centre city line as well as you can have the green view of our Royal Langor Golf Club. So what, one thing I would like to share with you Sharon is that our project has a very a top-notch security system. So what we introduce here is a face recognition security system. For example, when you come home, you have to register yourself by face recognition. So any outsiders are not being recognized appear in the building. The security will straight away be identified them in the control panel in the security room and being highlighted as a stranger. Straight away, the security will go to the strangers and identify them. So in terms of security, I would say this is an eight-tier security system that we have introduced in Malaysia market. Other than the comprehensive facilities that we have in this building, we also, there's a signature a restaurant that we located at the rooftop. So while you're having good time with your families or partner, and you can enjoy the beautiful night view of the KL City.